Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of AD Quick Tips. My name is Frankie Parr and I'm the AD educator here at the hospital. And I'm Chris Stillman, an emergency room technician with eight years experience in the US Army as a medic. Today, we're here to discuss the cat tourniquet and the pelvic binder, how to use them, where to use them, and also where to find them in our fixes. This is your cat tourniquet. We're gonna go over a few parts on the cat tourniquet. First being the two ends. We have a buckled end and we have a red tipped Velcro end. We also have the twisting windlass and the secure device for the windlass. When we use the tourniquet, we will put the red tip through the buckle as we secure the strap and then we will twist the windlass to stop the bleeding. According to the Journal of Vascular Surgery, the tourniquet should not be left on for more than six hours or your patient risks ischemia or nerve damage to the injured side. Here we have a patient with an injury to the right arm. Obviously with mass bleeding we want to control that with manual pressure, but if we can't control the bleeding we need to apply a tourniquet. First we're going to take the tourniquet and make sure we're three fingers above the injury. Slide the red tip through the buckle and secure the strap around the injured limb. We want to make sure we can't fit three fingers underneath this tourniquet. If you can, you must tighten the strap. Once it's at the appropriate tightness, we want to twist the windlass until bleeding has stopped. Once bleeding has stopped, secure the windlass and the securing device. Move the Velcro strap over and write your time. A cat tourniquet should only be used for hemorrhage control of the extremities. You should never apply a cat tourniquet on any joint and you should always apply it on bare skin. This is the SAM Pelvic Sling 2. We have a few parts in this device. First, the auto locking buckle, the support strap, the sling itself, and then on the reverse side, the instructions of use. The SAM Pelvic Sling 2 should only be used on open book pelvic fractures confirmed by x-ray. Though you may see some signs before the x-ray is complete to include bruising around the pelvis, unstable pelvis, or blood around the meatus. If you see any of these signs and symptoms, act quickly. The pelvis is very vascular and an open book pelvic fracture can be lethal. To apply the SAM pelvic sling to first fold the non-buckle end into an accordion like this. With the patient, maintain C-spine and have an assistant log roll opposite of you. Apply the accordion end underneath the pelvic. Identify the greater trochanter and adjust as needed. Once it's placed, log roll the patient back on his back. Pull the strap out. and apply the binder. On this end, pull tight while also securing the orange strap. Until you hear a click. And secure the Velcro. Once the pelvic sling has been placed, don't remove it until you have consulted with the physician. We want you to be able to find these items. Here in room 9 in the Pixis, in door 11, you can find the pelvic binders on the second shelf. And for the cat tourniquets, they're located in door 4, the very bottom on the left. Thank you for watching this episode of Quick Tips. As always, if you have any questions, we're here to help.